it's T here. Yes, it's me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button right there. And if you're an oldie but goodie, thanks for stopping by again. And I'm working with, um, by the, the nature of this video, you can tell I am going to be trying my first attempt of a faux hawk. Dun <laughs> the style in here so god help me lord jesus help me let this come out right <sighs> if not then you guys will never see this video so if you're seeing it it's because i i really like the way it came out <laughs> other than that i'm working with about um a two-day braid out and living here in florida braid outs don't or natural hair is not really conducive with the heat and the humidity so I'm going to go ahead and just attempt to do this full, full hawk and hopefully it turns out right. Um, so definitely keep on watching if you want to see how it turns out. Okay guys, bye. So things that's needed for this attempted full hawk style is my absolute favorite edge tamer and this is the even even edge tamer extra mega hold this works wonders this is about the only edge tamer that works for me and i highly recommend it for people who have stubborn hair when it comes to doing some baby hair or whatever you want to call it or lay down or slick down your edges that works really well next thing is needed is my rag tooth comb my handy dandy brush and I'm going to use probably probably just about three of these hair ties and that should be all I need. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this is going to start. All right. So I'm going to start off by parting my hair in the back. Now to do this, of course, it doesn't have to be if you're a meticulous person, um, you wanna probably make it as straight as possible, but for this style, you really and truly don't need to have it parts straight. So I think I'm gonna make the back one a little bit smaller. Just take out a little less here in the back. And like I said, your part does not have to be perfect for this style. Okay, so I got the back first parted. I'm probably gonna use one of these ties. Actually, no, I'm going to use my duck clip, my handy dandy duck clip, just to hold that part down. And the next section that I'm gonna part, that section I'm going to use my, head, my hair tie. So let's see. to the side. So I'm going to put the first head tie on this section. Of course you can make it as tight or as loose as you like, but a little bit tight is not too bad. Oh, let me see. Spread it out a little bit. And I can take this one out, blend it in. That's the first part of that.
so there you have it. Here I am. And I actually like the way it came out. I really, really like the way it came out. I just slicked my edges just a little bit and created a little swoop right here and on here. And it was really easy. Really easy. Really user friendly because like i said earlier in the video i am not good when it comes to styles so that's why you see me dancing and happy because i'm happy that it turned out really really good i mean look at this it actually turned out like a faux hawk i did it i did it so if i can do it you can okay if i can do it you can so try it. Let me know how it turned out. I love the way mine turned out. Um, it, and it was just basically put in three head tie, hair ties. That's it, three. One at the bottom, one in the middle, and one on top. That's it. And it created this look. That's all it took. And I had a little bang. Of course, I could have probably didn't need to put a bang, but I like the fact that I was able to put a bang to add a little oomph to it. So yeah, that's it. That is my faux hawk. Hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And again, if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. And if you're an oldie but goodie, thanks again for stopping by and supporting my channel. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.